all over the world. Listen to these words. People come. People come. People go. People go. Your life has been. Your life has been. Out of control. Out of control. You're confused. You're confused. But don't worry. Don't worry your soul. It will get better. It's got to get better. On this marvelous Lord's Day and the day in which we celebrate the love of mothers, God, our Heavenly Mother, invites us to worship. Come, let us worship the God whose love is unconditional. Come, let us worship the God who promises to make her love available today and always. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Let us pray. Lord God, we bless your name and we thank you for the privilege of worship today. Bless us in our homes and wherever we find ourselves as we worship you in spirit and in truth. We pray, God, that all that we have come to worship seeking today, that your love, God, will graciously supply it in abundance. Bless us now as we turn worship over to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. From which cometh my help, my help cometh from the Lord, the Lord which made heaven and earth. He said, He will not suffer thy foot, thy foot to be moved, the Lord which keepeth thee. He will not slumber nor sleep, for the Lord is thy keeper, the Lord is thy shade, upon thy right hand, upon thy right hand, no, the sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night, he shall preserve thy soul, even forevermore.
Mother's Day to all of the mothers that are listening, all of the mothers, the godmothers, grandmothers, all of the women that show up in various roles and mother the community. We want to take a special opportunity and pause today to celebrate the phenomenal woman amongst our congregation. We want to first start off by honoring our beloved pastor, the Reverend Dr. Patricia A. Gu Cham. Pastor, today we want you to know that we love you and we hope that we have been able to show you just how much we love you. We appreciate the fact that you love us unconditionally. We appreciate how you show up so faithful for us. We appreciate always having your ear to listen to our concerns and always having your arms to embrace us in the time of need. Pastor, you are a phenomenal mother, grandmother, godmother, and spiritual mother to so many. So today we say thank you. In addition to honoring our beloved pastor, we also want to stop and honor the amazing faith mothers, the mothers within our congregation that show up and show out every single day. Faith community mothers, you rock. In the midst of this pandemic, you have been able to show up 
and to complete various roles. You have been able to get on conference calls, Zoom calls, cook dinner, complete homework, do chores, and everything else that we have been tasked to do with grace. Today, we want to celebrate you. And by now, you should have received your gift that was hand delivered to all of the Faith Community Baptist Church mothers. We pray that this gift found a special place in your heart. We entitled it a love package because each thing inside the bag symbolized how special you are to this congregation. Our prayer is that on today, you can feel the love even though we are distant from each other. Faith, every year we know that we pause to honor four women in the categories of respect, integrity, success, and empowerment. Well, this year we decided to switch it up and do things a little different. This year we want to honor She Rose amongst our congregation. These are the Faith Community Baptist Church mothers that leave their homes every single day and show up to their place of employment. These are the Faith Community Baptist Church mothers that do not have the privilege of staying at home, but instead they show up to their place of employment with a smile, with a positive attitude, and with a willing heart to care for the world in such times. Today, we want to honor these 10 women. We want you to know that we appreciate you, that we see you, that we honor you, and that we love you. Our prayer is that our love offering is something that will symbolize just how much we appreciate you. And it's something that also added to the smile on your face today. We thank you. Faith community mothers, my prayer is that today is filled with peace, it's filled with love, and it's filled with happiness. My prayer is that you're able to relax and to rest, and that all of your heart desires are made well on today. We celebrate you, we honor you, we love you, and we will continue to pray for you as you continue to care and to nurture and to walk in the gift of being a phenomenal mother. Congratulations, and we will see you soon. Happy Mother's Day, Ma. I love you. Sidon. 
A Canaanite woman from that vicinity came to him crying out, Lord, son of David, have mercy on me. My daughter is demon-possessed and suffering terribly. Jesus did not answer a word. So his disciples came to him and urged him, send her away, for she keeps crying out after us. He answered, I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. The woman came and knelt before him. Lord, help me, she said. He replied, it is not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Yes, it is, Lord, she said. Even the dogs with the crumbs that fall from their master's table. Then Jesus said to her, woman, you have great faith. Your request is granted. And her daughter was healed at that moment. On this day that we celebrate mothers and the love of mothers, I want to preach from this text. And the title that I want to share with us today is A Love That Sees Us Through. Let us pray. Lord God, we love you so much, but we know that you love us so much more. And so even God today, we pray that your word will bless us. We ask God that your word will encourage us and that your word, the love of your word and the love that the essence, that is the essence of your word, that it will encourage us to stay the course because we know that your love will see us through. Bless this word in Jesus' name we pray, amen. Today is Mother's Day. And for the first time that I can remember, church buildings will not be filled with the excitement of families worshiping together as they remember and celebrate mothers and grandmothers, big mamas, stepmothers, foster and adopted mothers, like mothers, play mothers, church mothers, and anyone who has filled the role of mothers in our lives. But today, like everything during this pandemic shut in, it's an opportunity for us. It's an opportunity for us to both revisit and reclaim what this day really signifies. This is the day when we remember that in spite of all that we've been through, the good, the bad, and the ugly, it was love that brought us through. Always on Mother's Day, as a preacher, we are confronted with preaching to those who are grieving the loss of mothers, or those who never knew the love of a mother, or those who have no memories of a loving relationship with the mother. This day, we realize, can be painful for those who are seeking without success to become mothers, or those mothers who have lost a child. And on this day, it may even seem significant to some who are struggling to just stay alive in the midst of a virus that is so secretive and deadly, it may seem insignificant that we would even be celebrating Mother's Day. But God had to remind me and all of us that this Mother's Day belongs to all of us, not just mothers. Because like every day, this Mother's Day reminds us that all of us need to be loved, that all of us need to feel loved, all of us need to know that love is more powerful than any fear we might be experiencing. We need to know that in spite of what we see or don't see, in spite of what we know or don't know, in spite of whatever we're going through, love will see us through. This text that is found in both Matthew and Luke's Gospel is really a love story. It's really a story about the power of a mother's love. We generally get caught up with the words and actions of Jesus and his disciples. But this story is about love. The love of a screaming mother who dares to approach Jesus because her daughter, her child, is out of her mind. Her child is in some kind of way. Her child is in trouble. Her child is struggling big time. Her child is losing it, is in danger of dying. Her child is possessed by a demon. And you know, love will make you do that. And today, whether we are mother or child, female or male, working or not working, in good health or sick, in whatever state we find ourselves, 
This pandemic has us all seeking the same thing, love. A love that will see us through. A love that will bring us through our fears and through our concerns and a love that will bring us through the uncertainty of each new day. All of us, we need a love that will bring us all along the way, a love that will speak on our behalf, a love that speaks for those of us who feel alone and often feel forgotten and feel that nobody is concerned about what we're going through. On this Mother's Day, we need that kind of love displayed by this mother in the text. We need to know that love is seeking an answer, that love is crying out for our well-being, that love is finding an answer. We need to know that love will not let us die, that love will not let us go without getting what we need, that love will not take no for an answer. We need love on this Mother's Day. A love that will love us through every day and all along the journey called life. And the good news for all of us today is that on Mother's Day 2020, without family gatherings and without a lot of church gatherings, we can know that our God loves us. And our divine mother God promises to love us always with a love that will see us through. This love story. This love story is about a mother's love that is persistent. This mother comes screaming to Jesus, seeking help for her child. She's persistent in spite of being seemingly ignored and overlooked by both Jesus and his disciples. It's a difficult text for those who know the compassion and kindness of Jesus. Jesus does not respond at all to this woman, and by his silence, he in essence ignores her. She is not heard. It appears as if Jesus is caught with his compassion down. It appears as if Jesus is forced to confront his own prejudice and the influence of the traditions of his day. But this mother's love is persistent. She pushes past the silence and she makes her presence known. She refuses to be ignored or overlooked. She cries out and begs Jesus to have mercy. And as a result, she is allowed to get the crumbs from the table. This text challenges us because often we have been taught and even conditioned to celebrate and take delight in being able to get what's left, the crumbs. But a mother's love is not satisfied. It's never satisfied. She refuses to bow to the systemic pressures that will keep her and her daughter on the margins of existence. This mother's love cries out to have her child's needs heard. This love seeks more than crumbs. This love is persistent. This love will not give up in the midst of the pain and the trauma and the oppression of this woman. She wants what she needs. She wants to be heard and she insists that Jesus move past the traditions and the prejudices of the day and meet her at the point of her needs. In spite of what society says, in spite of what the relationships have been in the past, in spite of the political and economic barriers, her love is persistent. And during this pandemic, we need a love that will see us through. And the good news is that this woman shows the love of God. She shows the love of God to all of us who find ourselves like this woman on the margins, among the least and the left out. We need love today, and God promises to love us. God's love is still persistent. God's love will allow us to be heard in the face of this pandemic that may cause us to sometimes be ignored and overlooked in the plans for health supplies. God's love will speak on our behalf in the face of being declared non-essential and being laid off, in the face of having to settle for the crumbs of stimulus checks and, and our, our handouts. God's love will touch the hearts of, of God's people to bind and band together and cry out together until we are heard. God's love will see us through. God's love will keep us in the forefront of God's mind. God's love will keep us in the center of God's heart. God's love is persistent and promises to see us through. But not 
not only is this mother's love persistent, it's steadfast. Her love is steadfast in the face of being dismissed and mishandled. The disciples insist that Jesus send this woman away because her very presence is troubling. Have you ever had your very presence to be troubling to people? Just showing up presents a problem for Jesus and his disciples. And we are all familiar with the fact that Jesus makes clear that his primary concern is for the children of Israel, whom he refers to as children. He then makes reference to the unfairness of taking what rightfully belongs to children, children and giving it to dogs. And whether we translate the word Jesus uses to mean dogs or puppies, it's still culturally unacceptable and it sure enough is painful. Whether or not Jesus is saying this to make a point or what not to do, it still does not sit well for those of us who know all too well what it feels like to be mishandled, what it feels like to be dismissed as irrelevant simply because of our gender or because of our race or because of our financial status or because of our health or because we don't meet the standards of this world. We need a love that will look beyond all of those things that society holds against us. We need a love that will cry out on our behalf. We need a love that's steadfast, a love that is unwavering on our behalf. We need a love that will see us through. And God's love, like the love of this mother, promises to see us through, promises to always cry out on our behalf, promises to keep our needs before Jesus, Promises to not give up. Promises to not give in. Promises to keep on hollering. And nobody can holler like a mother whose child is in trouble. A mother's love is loud and it's strong and it's steadfast and it's always available. And God's love is like that. And right now, when every day the news is loud and the news is screaming in our ears at us, telling us that we're not going to make it up, make it, telling us that we're not going to have what we need, telling us that we're going to die, telling us that we're not going to be able to come through this. We need a love that's just as loud, screaming in our ears, reminding us that God's love will never let us go, that God's love is steadfast, that God's love is unwavering, always walking with us, always walking in front of us, walking behind us, walking beside us, and even when necessary, holding us up and carrying us. In spite of all that we're going through, in spite of how it appears, God's love is still amazing. And God's love is a love that will always see us through. This mother's love is persistent, it's steadfast, and it's also determined. This mother's love is determined in the face of being ridiculed and rejected. She is not deterred. She is willing to do whatever it takes to get what her daughter needs. On this Mother's Day, many of us are familiar with how determined a mother's love can be. A mother's love will hold you tight when you don't want to be touched or even hugged. A mother's love will come to your house when you don't want any visitors. A mother's love will forgive you without saying a word. A mother's love will go behind your back and get what you need without your permission. A mother's love is determined. We really don't know if this daughter ever knew that her mother was having a hissy fit before the Lord on her behalf. She may never have fully understood the extent of her mother's love that caused her mother to risk embarrassment and being ridiculed and rejected because she loved her so much. But love is determined. It will not take no for an answer. Whatever I have to do, I'm going to do it if it gets what my daughter needs. And her determination touches the heart of Jesus and he honors her request. This woman's love is not deterred by the actions of others. She believes that Jesus is who he says he is. She believes that healing is in the hands of Jesus. So her love chooses to respond and not react. Even though she has to go through all of the pain of rejection and being overlooked, she chooses not 
to react by duplicating what has been done to her, but instead she chooses to respond with integrity, knowing that God has all things under control. And with God, the situation in which she finds herself has no power over her. So she cries out in love, trusting that her love will bring her daughter through. That love will be stronger than any oppression, any pain, any trauma, any, any despair, any heartache. That love will see her through and love will see her daughter through. Oh, well, this is a word for all of us today who need to come through. Am I right about it? Those of us who are waiting to come through. This mother's love reminds us today that whether we have an earthly mother or not, we all can experience this kind of persistent, steadfast, and determined love. Because on this mother's day, our heavenly mother God is loving us always. Loving us in spite of who others say we are. Loving us in spite of the fact that many may ignore us. That many may dismiss our needs. Many may mishandle our feelings and our hopes and our dreams. Many may make fun of us and reject us for just being who we are. For many, our presence is still a problem. And we will never be enough. We will never be acceptable. We will never be worthy of being loved as a child. But today and every day, God's love is available. God's love stands up for us. God's love is ever present, and God's love meets us at the point of all of our needs. The good news of the day is the fact that God's love will see us through. Through, I tell you, through every heartache, through every valley, through every disappointment, through this pandemic, through all of our fears. God's love is amazing. God's love is a motherly love that will hold you, rock you gently. Heal us, save us, nurture us, keep us, comfort us in the midnight of our lives. Oh, we can cry out. Oh, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm glad about it. That we are not in this thing alone, but we have a God who will love us, love us always, and a God whose love will see us through. And this is the same God who said, because he loved us so much, sent his only son to come and to love a dying world. And we know that his name was Jesus. And he came and he loved us to life. A love that was persistent in the face of being ignored and overlooked by those that he came to save. A love that was steadfast in spite of being dismissed and mishandled by the religious leaders of his day. Jesus, whose love was determined in the face of being ridiculed and rejected by those who he chose. His love caused him to be set up. His love led him and caused him to be denied. His love caused him to be betrayed. And his love led him to a cross outside the city gates where he died to show the world what real love was all about. And his sacrificial love that led him to die. Die all day Friday and die all day Saturday. But the love of his heavenly father and mother God saw him through. And on that third day, God raised him from the grave with all power. And now God's amazing love, that love that raised Jesus, keeps on raising us, keeps on lifting us up, keeps on moving us from day to day. That love draws us. That love sees us through. That love is always with us, healing us, blessing us, working and walking on our behalf. And so today let us remember that God's love, God's love, my daughter, God's love, my son, God's love, people of God, God's love will see us through. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. On this beautiful Mother's Day, as we celebrate the love of God, a love that will see us through. I don't know where you are in your homes, cars, or if you're listening, wherever. If love is what you're seeking, there is no love more powerful than the love of God. There is no love that is more persistent, that is more steadfast, that is more determined 
than the love of God. God loves you right where you are in whatever state you're in. God loves us. And today, if you do not know or are not in relationship with God, you can become, in, you, can, you can be in relationship with God through God's Son, Jesus Christ. And we invite you to accept the Lord as your Savior. And you can do this by believing, believing what I preach today, believing that Jesus came to die, but to be raised on your behalf, that you might have the right to a life that is more abundant and a life that gives you all that you stand in need of. If that is what you are willing to do in your heart today, we invite you to just bow your heads as I pray for you. And if you want further directions uh, how to become a part of the body of Christ called the church, you can call us even on tomorrow. Lord God, bless every heart that has been touched and now yields their heart to you. We pray, God, that as people are saved, Lord, that you would receive them. We know that you will. And so even as we confess that we need you in our lives, we thank you, God, for receiving us. And we thank you, God, that because we have the faith to believe that you have the power to save, we thank you, God, that now we are. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We're excited that you have been with us in worship today. And so even as we prepare now to go down from this place of worship, I want to remind you that you can join us on Tuesdays for our Bible study, and you can join us on Thursdays at 6 a.m. as well as 5.30 p.m. for online prayer. Most of all, we want to wish all of our mothers a happy Mother's Day, and on this day for all of us, let us be reassured that God's love will see us through. Be blessed. Amen.